What's going on, everybody? Samuel Sims here, uh, iPad guy. I wanted to show you something in the updated version of BS 16i app. This is the app that I use for the MKS sound fonts. I know that Jamal Hartwell is coming out very soon with MK Sensation for the iPad, but until then, I'm still making do with what I have and trying to maximize it to its fullest potential. Uh, previously, I was unable to load more than three or more than two sound fonts into uh, the iPad. I was At that time, I was using the iPad mini uh, Retina. And even on my iPad Air 2, I was only able to load uh, two sound fonts. Well, today, I had the bright idea and decided I wanted to see if I can load three. Not only could I load three, I can load four. All right, so going here to the sound font section, in the BS16, if you look here, I have a H bass, which I'm going to talk about that just a little later. I have E piano two, uh, piano one, and E piano one. I have all four of those loaded. And to be able to switch, all I have to do is just hit my sound right there, and I can pick whichever one I want to go to. No clocking whatsoever, no lag whatsoever. It goes right to them. Okay, so great. Then I was like, well, I wonder now, I'm on, this is on iPad Air 2, I wonder now, because they increased the polyphony on the uh, the new version of the BS16i app, they uh, increased the polyphony to 64 notes, so I wondered now, would I be able to get more of a pad, or more whenever I decided to uh, do a combination? And I do. So what I have now is the ability to layer uh, two sounds, possibly uh, more than that, but right now I'm just at two sounds. Uh, a while back, I got some sound fonts uh, that were uh, created by Mr. Daryl Wise, uh, and I'll tag him in the video uh, on Facebook, and I'll, I'll tag him on uh, YouTube. Uh, sound fonts. One of the sound fonts I asked him for was the Hugo Bass, and if you're familiar uh, with Mike Burrell and his rolling uh, setup that he plays with this MKS, he uses a Hugo Bass for his uh, shout tracks, and it sounds like this. And so when you add that with the MKS, But you can now layer and get a pretty great sound just layering in the BS16 IR. Uh, I'm going to go back because previously I was unable to take out the general MIDI sound. But as you can see here, I have four uh, sound fonts loaded that those are not the sound fonts that came with the app. So the iPad Air 2 with the two gigs of RAM is definitely help, helping. I have not tried this with my mini retina, but if you have an iPad Air 2, by all means, this works for you. So just something to help all my iPad, iPhone musicians out there. Uh, the, the updated BS16i app, it works. Righty, take it easy. Peace out.